Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Space Engineers. So today we are analyzing um, two different, or let's say comparing two different um, uh, builds of the Eagle Transporter. So I created recently this uh, this version of the Eagle Transporter that it's uh, available in the um, steam workshop by the way and this is the, the previous one so and the problem i have with this um, version of the eagle transporter has to do with the uh, with the center of mass so i will show you and uh, the reason why the center of mass is important is because i'm using this uh, thruster offset uh, mod which takes into account the offset of the thruster from the center of mass and it creates some um, some issues if your ship is not uh, balanced <coughs> if the if the center of mass is in a position that um, is not um, aligned with the center of mass then your your ship tends to when you move um, uh, sideways uh, or up on or, or down it could um, lead to some um, unexpected behavior and here as you can see the center of mass is this point here and we want the center of mass to be aligned with this um, uh, connector here and as you can see the, uh, the center of my mass is shifted forward and the reason for that is because of this uh, huge command module that the Eagle Transporter has uh, at the front <coughs> now this already this command module is already uh, a modification uh, I mean it's not uh, that it doesn't follow that close the original TV show uh, command module and it's also um, very big. And I, if we go inside, I can show you what's um, how it looks like. So yeah, it looks more like a, a bridge, right? It's uh, very big, and it has like these two um, stations. One is a pilot and the other co-pilot and we have uh, some extra like cr extra crew seats so it's a, like a bridge uh, more like and since this uh, bridge is so big then it shifts the, the center of ma mass forward and this is the the modified version here I made a, a smaller bridge as you can see it's very um, compact compared to the to the other one and you can see that the center of mass is uh, where we want it to be right <coughs> just align with a with a with a connector because the, the 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 reason why uh, we want this to be aligned to the connector is because of all these thrusters in the in the pods so the thrusters in the pods are equally distance from the center of mass and this is what we want this will create like uh, this um, nice and smooth um, movement and not these tilted um, these tilts that we we see when the, the the weight is not balanced and there are other things that are um, that are that uh, we improved in this um, model one is that it has like this uh, flushed um, connector at the bottom the other one the connectors are um, sticking outward and well i think this is a, an improvement it, it has only one but i think one is is enough 
we don't need two of them well two two will create this symmetry but again this is already balanced here <coughs> so that's not a problem another thing is that i added more um lift thrusters like these hydrogen thrusters so it can cope better with with the weight and what else well there there are all other minor things um but uh, for the sake of this video i think um, we won't cover like for the sake of brevity should i say uh and the other thing is that i'm i'm using the the um, unmergeable blocks so yes that's the that's the cockpit here so it's very very small not not anything like uh, a bridge and with this multi crew stuff but i think this is uh, very practical <coughs> and yeah let's see i i will show you what i mean by the mergeable blocks so the thing is that the command module um can be detached from from the body of the of the eagle transporter and the reason for that is uh, this is a pattern this mo modularity pattern uh, we see in uh, many engineering uh, projects and the reason is that uh, if you have like a command module that can be attached from the main body then this command module can be attached to other um modules and uh, this will yeah you, you, you can like you can you can have for example a single command module and several different um structures uh, that it can attach to uh to perform different tasks so for example we could have like a, a rover so we could attach your command module to a rover or we could attach your module to another eagle transport structure but fitted in a different way and it would be really easy um, just to switch uh, the command module from one structure to the other uh, instead of um, I don't know for example um, having to to uh, modify an existing structure so th yeah this is basically what what um uh what you want to do or what you are looking for when um you have this um, modularity approach that you have to perform less modifications and you can rearrange um elements this is also what is um what this um Eagle Transporter is all about uh, when it comes to the payload, right? You can have different payloads, so you, you can have the same structure, but you can attach different payloads here at the center. So it's very easy just to switch the payload instead of having to change an entire ship to fit a different purpose. So, yeah, that's that's it um, I think this this is uh, what I wanted to say it describes what we have here um, I'm using um, when talking about the yes uh, talking about the unmergeable block is um, these tubes here are from the even though they look like the vanilla um, space engineers uh, conveyor tubes they are in fact on mergeable blocks and that means that when I uh, detach this command module from the rest of the body then these also these um, tubes are detached and also there's um, uh, the, um, the mergeable block version of the sliding doors and these are the ones that we have there so let's see if I can show you um, 
what I mean okay so let's see um, if I detach all the merge blocks I, I can turn them off I oh, know these are from the load. Uh, yeah, basically these ones. I turn it off and then we are out. And you see there, right? You see that um, that the tubes have been detached. This is what on mer the mergeable blocks does. They 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 um, can be attached and detached without any problems they don't become um, a single entity uh, where even they are detached and you can see that also the the sliding door is unmergeable so this is important um, other mods I'm using is the um, armor thrusters these are these thrusters that you see that are um, that are flush with uh, with the armor, and also the NASA uh, NASA mod NASA block mods. These are these uh, thrusters, uh, these small small ones that are pointing forwards and up and down. These are from the NASA mod, other because otherwise it's, it looks. Um, um it w it wouldn't be uh, like that compact so this is the, the 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 new command module okay and i think that's it this is basically what i wanted to show and here at the back I added these um, hydrogen tanks additionally this one doesn't have it helps also to to balance the the ship and you see here now that the center of mass of the body has shifted backwards right so this is this was expected okay so that's it for this video this is an update of the of the eagle transporter and i will be building this one in the survivor game i have so um, stay tuned uh, for that to to see what um, i will do then with 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 this command module to see this this um, eagle transporter with a new command module in action in the in, a, in the survival game okay so uh, i hope you like the video and hope to see you in the next one this is cyber settler signing off <laughs>